Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I am going to be doing your reading for June. This is your monthly reading. So let's see what's in store for you. Let's see what energies are going to be available for you Taurus this month and see what advice comes through for you. <laughs> let's see. Today I am using the Wild Unknown deck by Kim Kranz. And well, if you are a current subscriber, you know that I love you so very much. If you haven't subscribed just yet, make sure to click the little golden TP that's in one of these corners of the video. And that way you can subscribe to the channel and take advantage of all the free readings and all the beautiful things that are shared here. <laughs> so let's see Taurus. Taurus for the month of for the month of June. Taurus for the month of June. Okay, Taurus. So there is a possibility that right now you may be dealing with another Taurus. Perhaps some of you guys. Um, some of you guys might be um, paying close attention and listening to your own inner voice and your own inner truth in regards to the foundations of your life. So there is a big chance that you are contemplating big important decisions that will constitute the foundation for the rest of, you know, the big chunk of time coming up. Um, I won't say the rest of your life because I don't feel like it's completely permanent, but it is, you're wondering about things that are going to be quite important for you for several years, I would say five to six years. So I feel like many of you are contemplating the possibility of maybe marrying another Taurus, or maybe maybe you're contemplating the whole marriage thing. You know, there's some people that resonate so deeply with this concept, there's some people that don't. So maybe right now you are in a little bit of a moment in which you are thinking about this. You may be thinking about perhaps not only um, marriage, but other important foundational things in your life, like your job, like your career, and this month, as a challenge, we have the Ten of Cups and the Three of Swords, which is very interesting, Taurus. Very, very interesting, I would have to say. Because the Ten of Cups is the highest form of emotional abundance. The highest form of love. It is the card that is often associated with the kind of love that you would need to enter into a loving marriage that will last long, you know, long term in very healthy um, dynamics. So it's interesting that this is a challenge for you this month. Um, I would say that maybe you're having a hard time wrapping your head around the concept of one true love for the rest of your life. Or maybe you're trying to wrap your head around the concept of happily ever after and what that could mean for you and how does that maybe feel realistic to you or doesn't. Some of you guys I feel like are not really resonant with that too much. And I mean, this is a general reading, so obviously some mes messages are going to apply to you, other messages are going to apply to other people. But we have then the Three of Swords here as another challenge. So I think that many of you <sighs> maybe have been hurt before, emotionally, romantically. Maybe by an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, could be. But I feel like some of you have been so deeply hurt in such a foundational aspect of who you are that happily ever after seems like a concept that you can't wrap your head around right now. And that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. That doesn't mean that it's not available to you. That just means that the way that you have allowed yourself to develop, the way the world has shaped you, <laughs> is what I'm listening and what I'm hearing. The, the way the world has shaped you has made you very cynical about this concept and whatever it means to you. So in the recent past, Taurus, maybe you've been feeling quite private. Maybe you've been focusing on yourself. Maybe you've been wishing to have alone time or spend time in solitude with people that you trust very well or just alone. 
Um, maybe in the recent past you have been overcoming self-sabotage, overcoming aspects of yourself that you have been able to identify as things that hold you back and maybe you are kind of like you maybe you've taken some downtime to work on yourself honestly like and i feel like you're not going to be fighting yourself anymore if that makes sense like the self-sabotage is kind of like lowering here with the six of swords and with the hermit here i don't know if you can see the card properly you have been kind of like in your shell. You have been spending a lot of time with yourself, within yourself, contemplating these things perhaps. Some of you guys are dealing with um, institutions of some kind, um, banks, loans, schools, a little bit of everything. You're thinking about this month of June. It seems to me like you're thinking about this whole thing, this whole concept. And you're wondering, like, I wonder if there is someone who is the person who's right for me. Like, I wonder if there's a destined person for me or if I should just make it a decision to make it work with who I have right now. You know, you might be kind of thinking about this and you might be contemplating important decisions, foundational decisions this month. We have the Two of Swords, which is a card of decision making. And it is a card that invites you to take your time um, when you make decisions. So don't rush into anything. Don't jump into any um, important decisions this month of June. Try to take your time. Try to... <sighs> Try to evaluate all the pros and cons and reclaim your power. I feel like some of you guys are giving all your power to like destiny or the universe or like an external force. And I mean, how can I explain this? So obviously the universe and destiny and everything has, you know, a, a word, I guess we could say. There is something, you know, out there taking care of us. There is an energy in this universe that is obviously directing us and um, guiding our paths. But it's more than that. I feel like some of you guys are avoiding taking responsibility and allowing the universe or God or, or higher power or external source of any kind to be the one responsible for you not having what you want. So kind of like a, well, I don't know, you know, like I've never had, have had a romantic partner and that's just because the people that come into my life are just not good. There's nothing I can do about it. You know, it's kind of like a very disempowered point of view. Whereas you can have that same situation, but you could be thinking, well, if nothing has worked out for me yet, you know, there's probably something I'm doing or something I'm saying or something I am sustaining energetically or there must be something, some kind of way in which I can take responsibility for this and open up to a better possibility. If we can't take responsibility for something, that means we can't change it. So if we just give the power away to something else, that means that something else has the power and we don't, so we can't fix it. So evaluate that, think about that. This goes for a very specific group of Torians out there. Like I know that this is not gonna resonate with everybody and that's fine. Some of you guys are feeling deeply bored and unsatisfied with a fire sign. That could be uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Mm. Some of you guys are trying to make this work, but you're not feeling it. You're really not feeling it. You're like, well, I guess I should probably just settle down with this person because might as well. You know, it's kind of like that energy. But I feel like some of you guys, if you're resonating with this message, are trying to mask that. Are trying to, you know, justify it. Like, well, this person thinks that I'm there meant to be, so I guess that I am there meant to be. Even though that this person, it, you know, like, it's all right. We're, we have a good relationship, but it's not something that blows my mind. It's not something that... I want to get into a deeper commitment to, but since I guess this person says that I am destined for them, I guess, you know, <laughs> this is 
highly specific. So if this doesn't re resonate with you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, I feel like I'm I'm kind of picking up on the energy of a specific group of um, Taurus out there. For some reason, maybe you guys are all going through something like this. It's interesting. Your near future. It seems like everything that is right now up in the air, making you feel confused and, you know, everything that feels a little bit complicated will come down to earth again. I feel like some of you guys could have kind of gotten swayed away by some energies and felt kind of confused and then brought back down. And once you feel that like you're brought back down into your groundedness, into your body, into your space, you're going to say, okay, I was just kind of like tripping. <laughs> Like, I was kind of just, like, thinking about all the possibilities and in need of that maybe moment or, you know, session of contemplation. But then it seems like in the near future, you are going to be brought back and you're going to be receiving all of the rewards for all of the beautiful things that you have put into your life. So I'm getting that this is not romantic anymore. I feel like this is about finances, work, hobbies, passions, and who you are. So I feel like you're going to be finally seeing the rewards of all the energy and the effort and the intention that you have put into several aspects of who you are and your life. So you're going to be receiving the just rewards that you deserve. You're going to be following your heart, which I am very glad to see. <laughs> So for those of you who just simply don't feel very resonant with this partner or this, you know, co-worker or fire person in your life, um, you're going to be standing for your truth. You're going to be speaking your truth. You're going to be um, very strong in your opinion and you're going to stand your ground be very honest and not let everybody's kind of like expectations sway you away into something that you don't want. So I love that. You're going to be very strong with the lion here. The lion is an energy of strength and authority and presence. I like to see that. By the way, guys, the reason why I am using this particular deck, which, as you can see, is, you know, about animals. I don't know if I got to actually show you the cards. Um, is because this month I have a very special tool that I want to share with you. I'm going to be sharing more about it at the end of the month. I mean, at the end of the reading. But... I have a program that I would love to share with you about animal medicine. So if you actually enjoy animal medicine, you would like to connect to Animal Spirit Guide or communicate with the universe through animals, make sure to stick to the end of the video so you can check that out and see if you resonate. <sighs> Yay. So you have the star card in your environment. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Taurus. Definitely, like, no doubt. Some others of you are dealing with other earth signs so it seems to me like if you're dealing with a fire sign there could be a good chance that those connections are just feeling a little weird for you right now to be honest but it seems like you might be kind of like moving forward with an earth sign some of you guys might be transitioning from one relationship to another quite abruptly i have to say um, but it seems like it's kind of like your wish fulfilled as well. Yeah, you want to close a chapter from the past. Something is not feeling resonant for you anymore. Everything that is just not feeling right for you, it's okay to let it go. It's okay for that chapter to close. Be patient with yourself though, um, and with the other people involved. Allow yourself to, um, create a good circumstance for things to unfold. Yes, there seems to be an earth sign coming in for you guys. Um, we have it in the future, we have it in the environment, we have it in the um, most possible, most likely outcome. And it's coming with the tower card. So if you guys find yourself in a relationship with a fire sign, and you're thinking about an earth sign, you're thinking about someone in your environment who maybe is, has earth on their chart, or is a Capricorn, a Virgo, or another Taurus, their presence could stir up a little chaos not because they are bringing in chaos but because like you like them so much that that might disrupt other relationships in your life so be careful with that and see what would bringing them in is what you want you know like it's what i'm getting is imagining a relationship with a taurus meaning you 
and a fire sign. And it's kind of like already, um, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> I got super like, um, <clears throat> started feeling like a lot of, like my throat chakra completely closed. So I feel like maybe some of you guys have been in an unsatisfied relationship with a fire sign for a while and you have not been able to find the words for it or communicate that to the person or you're afraid to communicate that to the person. <coughs> um, but it seems to me like there's a new person who's a earth sign and you like them so much that that makes the older relationship kind of end up um, it's like it's already done, but you don't want to like release it or you haven't released it out of fear or something like that. And now that the earth sign is coming in, it seems like it's giving you enough of a reason to actually create that tower moment and release it. So I don't know. I hope this makes sense for someone out there. Please let me know if it does. Um, it seems to me though, like separate from this situation, let's say that you're not resonating with this message. Um, let's... <sighs> see so most of the month you're probably going to be very connected to the material world i mean you're going to be very um focused on work career money habits who you are who you want to be and you are kind of like stepping into a, a tower moment in the sense that you are kind of like seeing something in the horizon that is coming something like well i know that i'm going to change jobs in three months you know like i can see that tower moment coming in and when i mean tower moment i mean changes structural foundational changes that need to happen in which older structures structures crumble and new structures are set in place that are more aligned with who you are seems like a very good month overall you guys i hope that you have a wonderful time know that i am promoting the shamanic journey series program this month of june and it is a very special program that i would love to share with you if you resonate of course so this is a, a program on my website that includes classes and shamanic journey meditations it's a process that lasts seven days in which you are guided towards higher levels of self-love, self-acceptance, and um, a connection with yourself and the universe through animal medicine. So you're going to learn which one is your animal spirit. You're going to retrieve that energy, create that connection with your animal spirit guide. Everybody has that animal spirit guide that comes to this incarnation with them and helps them. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, also, you're going to be going through a lot of seven exactly seven different shamanic journey meditations in which you are going to be kind of like traveling inside of you and finding new ways perspectives and messages and clarities in different areas of your life through the help and assistance of animals animal medicine animal spirit guides animal messengers it is a beautiful journey to take and know that this whole month of june i am going to be promoting this course so if you don't feel ready for it right now that's perfectly fine know that i'm going to be mentioning it in my videos and that's why i'm going to be also using a lot of tarot decks that include animals in, in their illustrations so yeah i'm gonna have all the information in the description box below if you resonate with this i think it would be very powerful and very beautiful for you Sending so much love and I am very grateful that you stopped by. Thank you so much for watching.